we could pray. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves for these mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You who are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the earth, who have observed his law. Seek justice, seek humility. Perhaps you may be sheltered on the day of the Lord's anger. But I will leave as a remnant in your midst a people humble and lowly, who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, nor shall there be found in their mouths a deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and couch their flocks with none to disturb them. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. The fatherless and the widow the Lord sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. 
not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise, and God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly and despised of the world, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that, as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad. Your reward will be great in heaven. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. So again, my name is Peter. I'm a prisoner at St. Mark's just on the street, and I have uh, married, and I have four kids. The oldest is a junior in high school. He's just started driving, and my youngest is a second grader. Uh, it's an honor to pray with you, uh, my elders in the faith. Uh, thank you for your witness and for your faithfulness. Ours it is, day in and day out, week in and week out, year in and year out, to mar what the work of God, to mar what the ways of God, to once again turn to God with humble and grateful hearts and by his grace to take on his heart. We read today in our readings how God's ways are so very different than the world's ways, so different than it is natural for it to be our ways. God chooses the lowly, the last, the weak, the insignificant. His eye is on the hungry, the widow and the stranger, the orphan, the blind, the oppressed, those that are bowed down. These are especially his. These are the apple of his eye. And indeed, Jesus Christ himself humbled himself in the incarnation, becoming one of us, and among us, and as one of us, he humbled himself, humble in his origins, humbled in his passion and death. Indeed, Jesus is the lowly one, the lowly man, who is the apple of his Father's eye. And also, as we read in the letter from Paul to the Corinthians, when this good news about what Jesus did radiated out from Jerusalem and reached Corinth, the city, there, the people who first received this good news, Paul reports, very few of them were of any importance. 
Very few were wise or powerful or significant in the eyes of the world. For blessed in the eyes of God are the poor, the sorrowful, the meek, the belittled, the pure and simple of heart, the peacemakers, the merciful. And so we rejoice in God's tenderness of heart. We rejoice in his tenderness of heart. And let us also try to take on that mind of God ourselves. By God's grace, let us see clearly, see through the passing impressions to what really matters, to the depths, where in truth we all are low. And let us delight because in our lowliness we are the apple of our Father's eye. So let us ourselves take off any pretenses and airs. Let us take off any self-assertion. Let's set aside our baggage. Let us rejoice in all simplicity ourselves, in our lowliness with the lowly, in our poverty with the poor. And let us see God's love for us Love that is not rooted in our accomplishments, that's not rooted in what we've been, what we've done, or what we do, or what we can do, or what we will do. His love for us is before all that, and after all that, and beneath all that, and above all that. Let us come then to this God who loves us, who loves us in our depths, and who meets us in our depths. And let us welcome God who comes to us. Let us welcome Jesus Christ, our Lord, who comes to us, who came to us and humbled himself to serve, to lay down his life on the cross for us. Let us welcome Jesus who comes to us in communion. Let us rejoice to be united with him. Let us rejoice to be transformed into him whom we receive. Let us rejoice in this pledge of eternal life. Amen. Now together let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, before the Father, before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And strengthened by our faith, let us offer up some of our own intentions. Let us pray for the people of God throughout the world, for their unity, for their witness, that they might live in the lowliness that is the heart of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our leaders in the church, that they might imitate Christ our Lord, who came to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our city, for our state, for our country, and for all those tasked with leading and attending to our common life. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for this community, 
for all the residents, all of our staff. Pray for all of our loved ones, our friends, new and old. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died or will die this day, that God would be close to them in this important time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ.
Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the land. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Good to pray with you. Our communion service is ended. Go now in peace to love and serve our God and each other. Thanks be to God. Thank you for your presence today. Um, next week will be the beginning of February already. So um, we will have a Catholic Mass next week, Thursday, 11 a.m. Hope to see you then. Take care, everybody.